Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Annabelle. I have a service dog in training named Thunder Rose and a retired service dog named Charlotte. So this will be my morning routine. Um, so I did just wake up. It is um, 9.49 right now. I had a late night. I went to bed like last night and I kept waking up because my meds aren't working at this moment, um, which I need to contact my doctor about. So... But I don't know if he's open, so I'm going to get my mom to call him and ask him. Later on, I'm going to ask her anyways. So, um, I usually spend this time cuddling with my dogs and stuff like that, but I really need to go to the bathroom, and I'm sure they need to go too. So, I'm going to go ahead and let them out. And then since um, I can't let them out the whole time because Thunder can jump the fence, and Charlie gets tangled up and hangs herself half of the time, um, so I have to supervise them when they go outside, but then when they come back in, I'll, um, put them in their kennel, and then I'm gonna take care of myself. So, yeah. So, first thing, I usually reach for my glasses, like I just did, and let's see if I could do this one-handed. Never done this one-handed, I don't think. And there's me thinking. But, like, I'm able to open them one-handed, but I don't know if I've ever opened them one-handed. But anyway, so I sleep with my hair loose, and then I keep Thunder's bandana here because I take it off at night. Um, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna get up and go ahead and put this on Thunder. And my glasses are now foggy because I keep them on my windowsill, and my window's open. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um, get up! And now they're both... Um, up. I'll put this on Thunder when um, she comes back from outside because I know she really needs to pee. And if I try to put it on her, she'll pee on the floor. <laughs> Ow. And then I, oh, you guys can't see me anymore. Let's go open my light off. I'm back. So at this point, this is where I usually struggle with Thunder. Off. Off. She likes to jump up on me. Off. Um, because she's excited and stuff like that, which I understand. But it hurts. So, I'm going to go ahead and move them out. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I'm really, really tired. I'm still tired. And now uh, she went downstairs, so now I have to struggle with her to bring her back upstairs. Baby, you've got Oh, good girl. Coco, Charlie. Come on. So I'll get the boys. Sorry, guys, I'm struggling. I have to put the baby fence back on. So I have three dogs that go loose in the backyard. Until the snow. <gasps> it's snowing! What the heck? Okay, Charlotte arrest. Cookie go now. Outside. Outside. Come on. <sighs> of course. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put Charlotte outside and then I'm gonna have to go struggle with him to put him outside because if not, he'll go pee under the... If not, he'll pee under the table. All right, now let's see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> Probably not, I can okay. Okay, stop moving and turning in circles. I get it, you're excited, all right. So I'm just going to unlock the door and let her out. Stay. <laughs> you little brat, you know, eh? Yeah, you know you're in trouble. Come here. Come here. Thank you. All right. Look, Sh uh, Thunder's waiting for you outside. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down just so I can open the door and let him out.
And yes, guys, I do slam the doors. Definitely the patio door because it's hard to, to do that. All right, so now while the dogs are outside, I go ahead and go pee. I go ahead and prep the dog's medication, the dogs that do need the medication. Um, all right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my medications afterwards. So, you guys have seen multiple times before what type of medication Charlie gets, but I'm gonna show you guys again. It's like, why not? Okay, that doesn't really work. And that's not working either. All right. So I'm using a different can of food this time. It is compliments with beef, beef cuts and gravy. And I just put a plastic bag over it. And... And then I go ahead and get some eggs for him. Um, these are hard boiled eggs, but um, he likes those. And then I got my cutter too. So Charlie gets one of these. God, guys, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. He gets, I usually give 10 drops, but now I'm just giving him a syringe full of it. And it, like, it doesn't harm him or anything. Then I get my purple container. And guys, I just top the tap, top bit like this. So the powder stays down, and I give him three scoops. And this is my last scoop. So I'm gonna show you guys the scoop in a sec. And of course there's something in my eye. So this is the scoop that I use. Okay, with this, and then there's the next medication he gets. He gets two scoops like this. I have to pee so badly. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up his eggs right now. Oh my god, is this child proof? There we go. Oops. I was expecting that to have water in it. But okay. <gasps> she jumped the fence. And I have neighbors who hate my dogs. So you guys are going to come with me. Bring her in before the neighbors hurt her. Yes, I have neighbors who would hurt my dog. Okay. Charlotte! All right. So, Coda and Charlotte Thunder ran away. And Charlotte is probably trying to hang herself at this point. Oh my god, my eyes are bugging me, guys, so badly. Stay and don't go after the cat. Behave. Okay? Good girl. She untangled herself. Herself. Yeah. This is the proper sleep thing. Off. Thank you. And then our poor Charlie boy. His last. So after I give him his meds, I scoop it up in a spoon. 
If not, the other dogs try and go after it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put his meds away. I'm right here. Thunder, leave the kitty alone. Alright. So grab this cutter. Place the egg like this first. And that's like a deformed egg. Hold it in place and then get it cut like this. Go ahead and collect the egg and then place it the other way, so like this. And then cut it down to little squares. Not all of them get into a little square, but most of them. Do. And then the last part. You see, like this didn't really. Oh, never mind. It did break into squares. Just stayed into together. So I usually give him raw eggs, but because of everything going on in the world, my mom wants me to use hard boiled eggs with him. Now to focus on it today. Guys, I have one dog that speaks French and I have one the other dogs that speak English. And guys, I'm giving him three scoops. Sorry for the loud banging. I'm trying to get the food off, but that's not working. I'm getting my breakfast at the same time. I just drink these in the morning. If not, I make myself a smoothie. But I didn't clean my blender last time, so the stuff is kind of kicked on. Some of the smoothies kind of kicked on it, so. I'll show you guys how I feed him in a second. Okay, so I have four dogs and they usually all go for the bowl. So what I do is I try and find, there we go, the, the vitamin, uh, the pill that I want him to eat the most is in here. So I show it to him, oh, there's some that fell, but that's okay, the dog get it. And he knows how to eat off of a spoon. And yes, guys, he just gulps on his food. He doesn't chew it or anything. There we go. So he's all done. And that's going to go right here. Just like that. And then once I get back upstairs, I'm going to show you guys me putting these dogs in their kennel. Alright guys, so now I'm in my room. The cat decided to come in my room. Fun. Come. Thunder, come. Hurry me, you're making it harder than it needs to be. Come on, Thunder. What? I don't have canned food. Thunder, come. Yeah, you just saw the dog. You're scared of the dog, so now you're going to stand right in the middle of the stairs and stopping her from going upstairs. Just got to love you, Harmony. Let her come. I don't even care if you hurt her in the process. Come on. Thunder, come on. Thunder, come. Thunder, Rose, come. Now. Harmony, pick a freaking room. Especially not my room. Thunder, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Thunder, come. Thunder, come. <sighs> go to bed. No, wrong room.
Go to bed. Bed. Sutter, bed. No. Bed. Sutter, come here. Bed. Thank you. Sit. Stay. Shut. Last. Harmony. Thank you. Good girl. Stay, gotta put your bandana on. All right, guys, so you're gonna look at the ceiling real quick. All right, how pretty and sexy. Oh, look at this sexy dog. Look how pretty she is. All right, guys. So she has it on. Wait. Look up. Good girl. Okay, off. On the shallot. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Ah, ah. ah. We're still working on that, guys. I'm just going to get their bowl because I need to get that out. All right. Shallot's yay. Kennel. Good. Shall I cash? Bunfi. All right, so that's where they go. Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really, really tired still. So they're going to stay in there while I go ahead and go to the bathroom. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead to the bathroom. I'm just collecting my things because I do need to take a shower and I do need to wash my face. So... Behave. So, um, now I always tell them to behave even though I already know they will behave. It's just, Charlotte's the type of dog that hates having other dogs in her personal space. She just hates it. That's who she is. She just hates it. So, when it comes to another dog touching her, she loses her mind and snaps at the other dogs. So I'm going to hop in there and I'll see you guys after. All right, guys. So I just got out of the shower. Um, I am dressed. So I am just about to go live on Instagram um, I'll try and insert the live into this video so you guys can see and don't mind my very very red face I use or like this scratch right here I use decently warm water but I think I'm allergic to the water and yes guys you can actually be allergic to water um, because my grandma's face get red, 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 red like this too. It looks like I have a rash on my face. But she's allergic to the water. I'm going to sit you guys down here for a sec. You guys will stay because I have to drink. Well, I don't have to, but I want to drink um, my thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair. And put it up in a ponytail. And then I'm going to go ahead and go live. Well, I'm going to make a post on Instagram and then go live. Um, and by the way, guys, because my shower took longer than expected and the dogs going outside took longer than expected, this morning routine has now turned into a day in life. So, yeah, because it's, I think, 10.49 at this point. So, um... This is not as good as I remember it to be. But oh well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take my puffer and take my hair out. So, before I start my life, I'm going to go ahead and give the dogs more water. Hey guys, don't mind my fat, alright? I have a lot of fat rolls, as you guys can see, but... I'm in the process of losing weight. Um, 
which if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll do a, um, a weight loss journey video. If that's what you guys are interested in. <sighs> it's not recommended to go like that right in your mouth. You should use um, the tube that comes with it, but... I don't want to go get my tube. And the only reason why I took my puffers is because yes, I'm having a hard time breathing, but I have a hard time breathing because I had hot water on my chest and then I have a bra on. I haven't worn a bra in like, since this quarantine started. So me putting a bra, it's like <gasps> on my chest. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of wanna go back to bed. Like, I'll be honest, guys, like, today is, like, one of the worst days to film this video just because, really, the only thing I've been doing all day is training center here and there, but most of the time, I just watch YouTube videos. You know, like, that's the only thing I do. I'll pick a channel, and I'll go ahead and add all of the videos in my watch later videos, or section or whatever, and then just watch the videos, like, all day. That's the only thing I do all day, or I'll watch Netflix. I'm in the process of finishing um, Friends, and then I'm going to start something new. But that's the only thing I do really all day, guys. Like, leave it. Why are you licking your kennel? But, um, Sunday. Why are you licking your kennel? But anyway, it's the only reason why you guys didn't see me feed my dogs yet. Hi, baby. Because I usually do feed them at this point. It's... Like I said earlier, I'm going live, and I'm using Sanders food, because I don't have treats right now. No, keep your paws down. I'm using Sanders food um, as treats, and I need her to be hungry, so she'll take the treats. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get my brush. And guys, I'm going nowhere, so I'm wearing shorts, so this is like my outfit of the day. Just some black shorts, a blue tank top. And then, obviously, the rest of the stuff that you need. Um, so, I'm shedding a lot, guys. Like, look at that. Like, my hair has gone so thin because I'm losing so much hair. I don't even know if that's normal. It's so hot in my room. It's like a sauna. All right. So usually after my shower, my hair is the most naughtiest. Is that even a word? And I was the, the most tangled. So I pull. them all like this and I do the, the ends it's mostly the top that's the most knotted and then I you see what I mean and then I get started and yes guys I am rough with my hair side and guys I've been bleeding for my nose like all day yesterday so if you see me doing this it's just because I'm checking if I'm bleeding for my nose I'm not picking my nose that's just gross oops I should have taken my glasses off <laughs> And there goes my mom singing her morning rituals. And now Charlie's acting like if he didn't go outside, which he did. 
I swear, like all day with him, it's in and out, in and out. And this is why I never brush my hair, guys. Okay, I'm gonna wait till it's a bit drier. <sighs> to, to brush it out because it's just, with it wet, it's making it worse. So. All right. Oh, she's gonna need a towel. Be back, guys. Yes, woman. All right, guys, it's taking longer than expected. My mom wants me to help her with her bra and then to put a necklace on. So I'm going to end it here for now. I'm going to go live and then I'm going to check back in with you guys. Hey, right, guys, so I'm just in bed now. It is, let's see, 11.59. Um, I've been checking Instagram and Facebook. Um, I did just finish, well, I finished my live a bit. Um, a while back I'm um, only two people joined but for a little bit which that's fine I mean I'm not expecting my people to join my life um, 
But Thunder and Charlotte did do some training and then they didn't want to train anymore, which that's fine. Um, yeah, so I know I was supposed to do a day in a life, <laughs> but guys, like, I do nothing all day. Like, I just watch YouTube videos and Netflix all day and check my social medias. So, I'm not really being productive all day. And I'm putting the dogs outside or feeding the dogs. Um, or bringing the dogs for a walk. Um, but even then, I haven't been doing that lately. Because um, I had to be quarantined for 14 days. Um, because I thought I had COVID-19. But no, it was just my anxiety and asthma kicking in. And they've been kicking in, like, on and off. I mean, I did have a fever. But it wasn't a high fever. The highest my fever went was 100.5. Not high enough um, for COVID-19. Um, and I didn't have any other symptoms other than shortness of breath. Um, so, but, you know, like being dizzy, having a headache, sore throat, upset stomach, upset heart. Like my heart was hurting and stuff like that. Um... But that was just my anxiety and my asthma. That was fun. Not, I'm being sarcastic, guys. So, I am unemployed until this whole thing blows over. So, that sucks, too. I mean, but like I said, there's like, I do nothing, guys. Like, I think I'm actually going to go do schoolwork. But who wants to watch me do schoolwork? Like, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch me do schoolwork. I just bored myself out thinking about doing schoolwork, so I'm not doing schoolwork. Um, I might, well, I have to, I have to do some schoolwork. I have to do 12 hours of schoolwork a week, so. Ooh, sorry guys. So this will be kind of like a morning routine, afternoon routine type of thing. Um, once this whole COVID-19 thing blows over, I'll do another morning routine, afternoon routine, and nighttime routine, and a day in a life. Um, because it's going to be more productive, like, there's going to be school, there's going to be work, um, that type of stuff, and I'll be able to go out more, because I'm at high, I'm a higher risk. Um, I fall in the category of high risk, because I do have asthma, which is a lung disease, so if I get it, it's, I'm high risk of passing away, basically. Um, but that's not really important, I mean, I mean, it's important that if I do get it, I can pass away, but I mean, it's, you know, so I just stay home, um, and I don't like to interact with people to begin with. But once this whole thing blows over, my dog's going to be able to get more exercise and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I have a few plans. Um, so you guys could stay tuned for that. Um, I will give you guys a little um, sneak peek of my future. So I am in the process of buying a trailer, um, like a camper. And I will be getting five new puppies. Not all at the same time because I can't handle five dogs at the same time. I'm getting one, not this year, but next year and towards the ending of December. I think. Um... Um, like the puppy that I'm getting, it's a, like, I'm the one who breeds the parents and plans the breeding and stuff like that. Um, they're my grandparents' dogs, but I help my grandparents and stuff like that out with the breeding plan. So if my calculations are correct, which most of the time they are, towards the ending of December, I should have, of next year, I should have a puppy. Um, so I'll go ahead and buy a puppy from him and she will be bred to my male coda um after i get that puppy i'm gonna save up again and i'm gonna get so 
so this year we're 2020. So in 2021, I'll be getting a new, another puppy and I'll be getting a, a trailer or a camper. In early 2022, I'll be getting my Newfoundland. Um, also, in 2021, I'll be turning seven. No, I'm turning 17 this year. So in 2021, I'll be turning 18. I'm going to get my Malinois, my personal protection dog, along with my um, the Shih Tzu puppy that I'll be getting. In 2022, I'll be getting my Newfoundland along with two standard poodles. They will be CKC registered. They will get health tested and all of that stuff. And they will be my breeding pair um, for to, to produce CKC um, puppies. And then... I lied, guys. I'm getting six puppies. And then I'm going to go ahead and in probably 2026, 2025, I'll be getting a female Newfoundland. She will be um, most likely CKC registered, um, but she will get through um, health testing as well. And she will be my second breeding pair. Um, she will, she'll be my breed, my second breeding pair. Um, she will be bred to my Newfoundland. And I'm, I'm not crossbreeding any of my dogs, guys. So then I'm going to have three breeding pairs. And then I'm still going to have Charlotte and Thunder. And then I'm not breeding my Malinois. But she's not going to get, um, she's not going to get spayed. Um, she's just going to, I'm just going to supervise her while, um, my male, while she's in heat, um, with my males. Um, she's going to be separated most likely from my males, but, um, yeah, that's my plans. That's just a sneak peek. Sorry guys, that was Charlie. He does that a lot. Um, it's not a hundred percent like it's not engraved in stones or anything like that, but it is a plan and I hope I could get those plans done. Um, also, guys, I do have a um, a registry down below from uh, um, Amazon of things I'm going to need for those dogs. Um, if you guys want to help out on getting those, like, some of the items and stuff like that, that would be great. It's not a must. It's not a need. Um, I can always save up and get it myself. Um, but um, it's up to you guys if you guys would like to um, buy some of these items um and um you know they would they would send it to me and stuff like that but it's not a must it's not a need it's optional it's if you guys want to help out i'm not forcing nobody to help me out because i can do it i'm a big girl i'm able to um get the items for my dogs um but i just know some of you guys might like to help so I just whipped that up. Um, since I'm in quarantine, I have nothing to do. So I just whipped that up. Um, I will also be getting rats um, in the future. But I will put that registry link down below as well too. If you guys want to help me out with some of that stuff. It's not a must. It's not a need. Um, it's just if you guys feel like it. Um, but yeah. But this is mostly a service dog channel. So um you guys will see some of my other dogs and some of my rats and stuff like that. But I'll be making a new channel when I get the puppies. Or when I'm in the process of getting the puppies, etc. Um, so you guys could follow me on that channel. The channel's not decided yet, but I'll make an announcement on this channel when I go ahead and make my new channel. So yeah, so... I'm sorry guys that I'm not doing a full day in a life. But like I said, there's nothing. I do nothing all day. Like, I'll eat lunch... Um, which I had a meal replacement earlier, which that was my boost. So I'm not hungry right now. Um, and then after that, you know, I usually eat. I watch games. I mean, not games, but I watch um, YouTube videos, Netflix, play my games. I'm usually on face chat, like FaceTiming uh, my cousins um, and talking to them and stuff like that all day. So... Once this blows over, I'll do another one, and it's going to be a more realistic one. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. 
please subscribe and turn the notification bell if you like these types of videos. Um, you guys leave a like or a dislike so I know if you guys like these types of videos. Um, and then if YouTube doesn't take my comment section away, leave comments down below of videos you would like and name suggestions. Now, I have names picked out um, already, but I still want to see your name suggestions down below. I need, I still need a name for my Malinois. So for my Malinois, my female Malinois, I was thinking of getting, of using a name that's like a powerful name. That means like that she's dangerous, but powerful, but is also sweet. Um... I like meaningful names like that, you know, because she will be a powerful dog and she'll be a protection dog and stuff like that. So I kind of want something to be sweet, but also be like, that also goes with her powerful and dangerous um, side of her. So yeah, but bye guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Oops.